Welcome back to News at 10, our final news bulletin for the day. Now, the Coalition of Domestic Election Observers, uh, Codeo, has set up a mini information center to collate information about the district assembly elections. The coalition has also deployed 1,100 observers to monitor the exercise. The electorates will vote at the 35,000 polling stations across the country to elect their representatives to the assemblies and units committees. The local election observer body, Coalition for Domestic Election Observers, has indicated its preparedness to follow developments of the elections. Codell, as part of his monitoring mechanism, has set up a miniature information center in Accra with a view to collate information from the field. Out of the number of personnel deployed, 800 would be stationed at polling stations, while 300 would perform roaming services at randomly selected polling stations. Information from the field would be received through text messages. Codell would come up with two reports. We do a midday report to give the country or electorates or citizens a sense of exactly what has happened because we deploy observers that sent us a report to our um, national information um, center and we assign all of them a checklist for them to tell us um, the beginning of polls, arrival of materials, um, officers present. All these things are things that we we'll put together and give a sense of percentages with respect to any of the attributes of the elections that we have factored in our, our checklist. Then at the end of polls, we also, we also give information as to how far the election have gone throughout um, the day. Acting co-chair of Kodel, Sheikh Arimeyao Shaibu's confidence of a successful polls and want equal importance to be given to it to improve voter turnout, he entreated journalists to be circumspect in their reportage. I am pleased to announce that Kodoyo is ready to observe tomorrow's district level elections and the unit committee elections. As always, Kodoyo will uphold its principles of non-partisanship, objectivity and neutrality in the execution of its activities. Kodoyo further appeals to the media to be circumspect in its coverage and reportage of elections. The role of the media is to provide accurate information and education to Ghanaians and we expect them to discharge this function in an objective and professional manner. Elsewhere, the Ashanti Regional Security Council has deployed over 5,000 security personnel from the various security services uh, for Tuesday's district assembly elections. The personnel are to ensure peace before, during and after the elections. The security personnel comprising the police, the fire service, the prisons and immigration were deployed across all 47 metropolitan, municipal and districts across the Shanti region. Deputy Regional Police Commander ACP David Ajinajaman entreated personnel to ensure the election is devoid of violence. We are also to ensure that the voters queue orderly. So if we come to your polling station and the queues are disorderly and people are fighting, it means that you haven't done your job properly. He tax personnel to discharge their duty with professionalism. We are not supposed to take part in the actual administration of the elections. It is not our duty. That is the duty of the returning officers and his men. We are not also to harass or intimidate anybody who comes to the police station. We are supposed to do our jobs, but not to harass or intimidate any person. A reminder, you're still watching News at 10. We'll go for a final news break. Right, welcome back to News at 10, our final news bulletin for the day. Now, founder and chief executive officer of Springfield Exploration and Production Company, Kevin Autry, has justified the company's ownership of an oil block, suggesting a lot has been invested in realizing the recent 1.5 billion barrels of proven oil. Speaking in an exclusive interview on Business Focus today, the oil magnate discounted the influence of politicians in his business and said hard work coupled with good corporate governance have brought him thus far. Um, 
there are a lot of people who are doing very well in Ghana, but you don't hear of them. They have nothing to do with any politician. You have to understand, who are politicians? They are friends, they are cousins, they are brothers. These are people who grew up with them. You know them. I'm sure that if you look around, there will be a relative of yours, distance or close or something, that's in one way or the other a politically, you know. So um, essentially what you're saying is that at Springfield, you did not win that contract merely because you're connected, but you have the capability, you have the competence to run an oil field. I think, I think the truth speaks for itself. If you look at where we are right now, um, we're in a briefcase company. <laughs> we are a real company. We put in the work. Um, yes. You know, we've had partnership and alliances with companies like BP for years, you know, in our trading business. So we are a proper, well-governed, well-governed, board, everything. You know, I, I can even want to do something and compliance will tell me I can't do it. Well-structured, you know, energy company. It has nothing to do with politicians. I mean, I told you, it took me four years to get this asset. You know, so we showed, because, you know, when we, when we started, they said that they were not, they didn't think we were serious. We actually set up our exploration and production years ahead. We built a team three years before we got the oil block. You are not in bed with politicians? No. Not at all. Is it something you might do in the future? Uh, being, Sponsor political parties? Uh, our business, unfortunately, although it's, it's a Ghanaian business, because we have international, so we work in multiple countries. And these days there's something called Foreign Corruption Practices Act, which means you can do something in Ghana and get arrested in Europe mm -hmm. or get arrested somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, there's so, much, so many rules that does, does not allow, even if you want to. And what is funny is you can do something in Ghana, it would affect your businesses elsewhere. Right, that was uh, Chief Executive Officer of Oil Exploration Company, Springfield, uh, Kevin Archery, in that interview on Business Focus earlier today. That's all for News at 10, our final news bulletin for the day. My name is Parkus Yasari. Thanks very much for making a date with us on the news. For more news, you can log on to our website, www.3news.com. Bye-bye.